I just realized that God of War pretty much comes out next week. We're literally just a week away almost from God of War. Literally being able to say that we're going to be able to play God of War next week, it's kind of crazy. And the fact that we're going to get our reviews like literally in a couple days here. I believe it's Thursday um, at midnight, so practically Friday morning. A lot of exciting stuff. I mean, we're seeing press come out and talk about how they can't wait to talk about God of War and the fact that it's going to be great. In fact, I just had spring break this past week, and what I did is I played God of War 1 and 2 for the first time, so I can kind of understand like the story of Kratos and his adventures before this new one. I know I didn't have to play them, but I wanted to do it nonetheless because, man, I'm just really excited for God of War, and I don't think I've been this excited for a game since pretty much Breath of the Wild. So, God of War, man, what can I say? I just want to go over some of the details that people have been talking about online. Nothing spoilery because because as myself, you know, as a fan of wanting to go into this game, as Corey also saying, of course you don't want to be spoiled going into this game. You want to have like a fresh experience, not knowing what to expect. And, you know, I want to talk about kind of like the things that Corey has been saying lately, as well as what people on the internet have been saying um, in some Reddit posts. So, a lot of exciting stuff. God of War, man. We're here. We're practically here. And it's going to about to go down. It's pretty exciting stuff. So. Let's go first into a Reddit post that was just dropped today on Reddit um, r slash PS4. It was pretty much some like anonymous person. He just said that his friend, quote unquote, played the game. You know, we don't know if it's true or not, but I'll put up the, the screens right here. And it said that it took him 19 hours to do the full story. No side stuff, no mini bosses, just focusing straight on the story. And it took him 19 hours. Now with that aside, of course, if you add in the whole side activities, exploring around, you can easily see how this whole estimate can be seen as, you know, 30 hours like Corey has been saying. So another person actually commented down below saying he managed to beat in 18 hours and 45 minutes man this game really is seeming to be long you know of course devs like to talk longer than you know their game actually is but in terms of god of war you know if you're doing just a story it's still going to be a long game if we do in fact get god of war and it's going to be this long pretty exciting stuff you know playstation has been recently you know dropping some behind the scenes stuff or you know talking more about the details of god of war not really like showing new footage which is stuff i've been staying away from but more in terms of, like the mechanics and stuff in fact they just dropped a video today called god of war fight your way talked a lot more about the progression system about how making kratos kind of like your own personal kratos you know it's actually pretty funny playstation tweeted out saying that their biggest inspiration for god of wars you know whole characteristic um you know skill tree thing was fifa weird i know but fifa so i mean that aside if you actually look at the video pretty exciting stuff going more on top of things you know greg miller and Corey were talking about in their whole playstation preview thing greg miller mentioned that he didn't think of the last of us at all which i don't think you know mainly people that are excited for god of war were really having that much as a worry it's more like the trolls talking about last of us because let's face it they see a older male you know kratos and they see a kid and they have a similar camera angle immediately last of us apparently <laughs> But yeah, that aside, you know, nobody's comparing this to The Last of Us besides Trolls, which is, I want to say anything I had to worry about, you know, it definitely seemed like, it definitely seemed before we got like the major details of the story when we just saw Kratos and his son that possibly this was going to be a Last of Us-like tale, but as we got the story trailer, that kind of put my fears aside, but you know, really anybody that says that now is kind of a troll because if you actually watch the story trailer and actually read through the impressions, people are not coming out with that in mind. Of course, I haven't played it myself, but... Nobody's talking about Last of Us if they've actually played it, which is only a good sum. We want God of War to be its own thing. Of course, what also hit me this past week is God of War is not going to be ending here. Of course, they're going to be starting with the Norse mythology, so that kind of rules out some people like Loki and Thor from really dying in this one. You know, a lot of people predicted we'd be fighting them in this game, but really, if they're setting up like another trilogy or at least a couple more games after this one, I don't see Loki and Thor going this soon. You know, those are major key role players, kind of like Zeus and like Poseidon, that you don't want to kill off in the first one. And really, I think they want to build up those characters. You don't want to just kill them off without no character development. You know, God of War has definitely been good in terms of, like, the relationship between the gods and everything. So, really, if you saw the first God of War, what well, was kind of like an origin story of how Kratos became the God of War, this one will probably do something similar. You know, not really, you know, killing all these gods, but stepping into the world that is North Mythology. Probably focusing on, like, the more personal journey with his son. But maybe they do get into encounters in this one that set up future events to want to kill these greater gods at hand. You know... Things like that come out to play, like the serpent, really intrigue me with how this is going to end up going down. But don't expect to be taken down Loki or Thor, which is something that came in mind. Besides that, you know, Agent Bizzle, who is Brian Altano on Twitter, talked about how, you know, he played for God of War. Can't wait to talk about it this Friday. The fact that, I don't even think I mentioned this, the fact that Sony has the releases for, like, the embargo dropping a week before the game comes out shows major confidence, which is something they did with Horizon, and look how that turned out. 
So there's only reasons to really be excited here, in my opinion, and I'm really looking forward to the game. You know, the fact that Sony Santa Monica is doing a great job at keeping everything kind of close to their chest. You know, people that have played God of War said that they're only like two hours in, two to three hours in, and they don't know everything yet. It seems like the game does a good job at like kind of giving you, I guess, breadcrumbs as people have kind of been putting it. And they don't even know the full story, but they're really intrigued. So this is definitely a major adventure, which is really exciting. And it's honestly only a week or so away until we actually get to play this game, which if you guys didn't know is my most anticipated game. I know people that follow me closely know that, but yeah, I figured I'd just talk about God of War, the things I've been hearing. The fact that I played for God of War 1 and 2 lately, pretty exciting stuff. I cannot wait for God of War. I think I'm at a place where I haven't felt this excited for a game since Breath of the Wild. And man, 2018, what are you doing? So yeah, guys, I just kind of want to talk about God of War, kind of about the details that we have been getting recently and just overall providing my thoughts on this stuff. So yeah, I hope I kind of spark some interest in conversations with you guys that you want to talk about in the comments down below. A lot of interesting stuff going into this game and definitely when it comes out, I'm going to be playing to the heck of it, you know, probably doing a review as always and talking about it with you guys. So yeah, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. If you like the video, make sure to like it as always. Of course, at the end of the day, appreciate you sticking for the whole entire video. So you guys, I've been online. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care as always.